If you create and manage multiple accounts, you probably know that you need cookies to increase websites' trust in them. In this video, you'll learn which cookie formats are supported in Octo Browser, how to import cookies, create them using the cookie robot, delete, validate, and export them. Octo Browser supports working with popular cookie formats, JSON and Netscape. You are now looking at the contents of a cookie file in JSON format. All cookie entries are enclosed within square brackets. Each entry is enclosed in curly braces and separated from the next by a comma. Entry keys are placed in quotation marks. Be careful. If you buy cookie files from third-party services, they may contain account-related information. This data is not specified in the JSON format and is not a valid cookie entry so such a file cannot be properly imported. Cut this data from the file and save it in a convenient place, such as the profile description. Netscape format cookie entries differ significantly from JSON ones. There are no square or curly brackets here. Each cookie entry is a line divided into separate parts by tab characters. Keys are not specified. We do not recommend using online cookie converters, as they may work incorrectly. Octo Browser works perfectly with both JSON and Netscape formats, so you can upload cookies in either format in their original form. To begin, make sure that saving cookies is enabled in Profile Storage Settings. By default, this option is on. The first method to import cookies is through the Profile Action menu. Open the menu for the desired profile and click Import Cookies. A window will appear into which you can drag the cookie file. Note, the file format must be .txt or .json. You can also copy the data from the file and paste it as text into the import window. After completing the import, click Confirm. The second method to import cookies is by editing a profile. Go to the Profile Settings and switch to the Cookies tab. Drag the cookie file in or paste its text as shown earlier. Click Save Changes. For convenience, you can enable the cookie column in the profile list. You can sequentially import multiple cookie files into the same profile. When adding new cookies, you'll see the cookie counter change. It's important to note that if the imported files contain entries with matching domain, name, and path, the existing entry with these parameters will be overwritten. If a cookie data error message appears on the screen during import, the cookie file is likely in an incorrect format or contains an error. You can check the validity of JSON format cookie files using the validator available at jsonformatter.org. Go to the website, paste your cookie file text into the left window, and click the validate button. If there is an error in the cookies, you'll see the error line and an explanation in the right window. In our example, the error is in the second line. It shows a semicolon instead of a comma at the end of the domain key value. If your cookies are valid, Clicking Validate will display the corresponding message. You can view the results of importing cookies. To do this, launch the profile. In the browser's address bar, enter the address you see on the screen. Chrome double slash settings slash content slash all. 
you will be taken to the browser settings page where you can check the added cookies. You can delete cookies for specific sites by clicking the trash icon next to them. You can also delete all cookies from the profile by clicking delete all data. To automate farming of cookie files, you can use the cookie robot. Select the cookie robot from the profile menu. Paste the links to the websites from which you want to collect cookies and click confirm. Then wait for the robot to finish its work. The cookie robot will launch the profile in the background and visit the specified links. This way, it will collect cookies and tracking pixels from the websites. Please note that the robot does not perform any additional actions on the pages. You can export cookies from a profile. To do this, click the Export Cookies button in the top right corner in a running profile, or use the keyboard shortcut Control shift k then, select the cookie file format and save it. If you still have questions, please refer to the documentation. You will find the link in the video description. You can also contact Octo Customer Service using the button in the browser, on the official website, or on Telegram. Subscribe to the Octo Browser channel and never miss new tutorials.